Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you an advanced Zoom skill that might come in handy as you're creating your Zoom meetings. The first thing you want to do is go to zoom.us and then you're going to go into your account. You're going to go to meetings. Now, what I'm going to show you is meeting templates. So something that can be really useful if you are kind of creating the same sort of setup over and over and over again, you may want to use a meeting template. The way to do this is to go ahead and you're going to get to meetings, you're going to schedule a new meeting, and you're going to schedule this new meeting with the idea that this is going to become my template. So we're going to say, we're going to just call this uh, class meeting. And let's say that I know that every day I have a class that begins at one and we'll say that we know that it's always 45 minutes. And again, remember these, these the times, like the duration of the meeting does not have to be exact. And the main benefit of having the time exact is so that they show up in your list in your kind of meeting list in order. But if you were to ever start a meeting early or late, it doesn't, it's not, the time that you say is not gonna override it. You tell Zoom when Zoom starts and you tell Zoom when Zoom ends. So if your meeting ran over 45 minutes, that wouldn't matter. It's not like you hit 45 and it cuts you off. It doesn't work that way. But again, we're creating a template. So let's say that this, we know it's going to be a recurring, a recurring meeting. We're going to go in. It's going to be daily, every day, for however long. At, on, you know, it's going to end at this particular day, and it's going to be 45 minutes, and it's going to start at 1 o'clock. Like, those are kind of my settings, right? Um, we know the waiting room that's locked on for us. Um, let's say we always want that. To, you know, maybe there's some other change we're going to make. Uh, perhaps we're going to always do pre-assigned breakout rooms and I'm going to import them from a spreadsheet, right? This is where I might do that. Um, whatever it is, right? Maybe the alternate host is always going to be the same, the same person. Whatever the settings are for this meeting, we're going to go ahead and get it in there, okay? We're going to hit save. And then we're going to scroll down and we're gonna save as a meeting template. And I might call this a period seven. And I'm gonna save it with the recurrence because we know that we're gonna repopulate these links at, you know, once a week and then we're gonna revisit. But you know, this might be a time saver. I'm not really sure if it saves much time, but in case it does, I wanted to show you how to do it. And so we save it as a template. And now when we go into our meetings and we look at our meeting templates, check it out. I can schedule a meeting with this template and it just kind of automatically is going to fill in. And now if you look at my upcoming meetings, because I have that recurrence going, notice that that meeting, um, the meeting ID is the same. So the link is the same. So you, you really just have that same room, one link for everybody. So I hope this is helpful. I hope it streamlines some of the workflow for you. Obviously, if you have any questions or suggestions on how it can be um, made even simpler, do share and let us know. Hope this is helpful. Bye, all.